Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have now found and seen that there is a new PlayStation 5 controller on the way. You guys heard me correctly, there was actually a shadow update for physical PlayStation 5 controllers, and there's a lot of cool brand new things upcoming for them too as well. We also have a lot of cool like little nifty features going to be talked about for the console and controller itself in the very hopefully near future. So we have a pretty, pretty fun video to go talk about all throughout today. Because brand new console, brand new hardware stuff is always fun to go and see. And like I said, some retailers have actually now leaked it on accident a little bit on the earlier side. We've had a chance to go catch it. As well, a little bit of a quick update too on the PlayStation or $5 giveaway. We did actually have a chance to go pick a winner, but the winner has not responded responded yet uh, has been around like three days or so and as well it might also just be a bot just in all honesty so I'm gonna maybe be doing a re-roll sometime in the very near future for a heads up for that one just in case you guys have been curious on that so I'll have a chance to update that either on either Twitch or on Twitter in the very near future I had a chance to go to dress it on Twitch a few times some people ask but at the same time for YouTube and know something not all of you guys watch Twitch let you guys know about that also, do have the Twitter and Twitch as well if you guys want to follow down below. And let's go and dive on into the video itself. So, as I mentioned, there's a brand new PlayStation 5 controller coming over here, brand new DualSense side. And right now, we saw a big company, aka Best Buy, that had a chance to go and mention it. Now, there is going to be a brand new release date apparently in the next few weeks. And as well, a lot of folks are also combining that into a brand new, maybe secret state of play. There was a little bit of rumors there's going to be an Xbox event coming out in these next few days. So, in theory, there's going to be an Xbox. Xbox event, there may be an upcoming PlayStation event to maybe pad out the rest of 2024, because as of right this second, there's not really that many games planned up even for 2024 on PlayStation. When it comes to, like, say, Stellar Blade, it's going to be coming out too as well, the brand new Last of Us Part 2 remake update, etc., and of course, obviously, maybe Wolverine, or maybe the Venom game for the end of 2024, but as of right this second, we haven't seen anything else kind of big, but... Right now, we are now seeing a brand new DualSense that has now been spotted. And this is a pretty big upgrade to as well. So this either might be leaked on accident or as well might be announced in the very near future from Sony and, well, all that. Saying PlayStation 5, the V2 DualSense with exceptional 12-hour battery life has now been officially spotted online. An unannounced PS5 DualSense controller has appeared on Best Buy Canada's website. The listing, spotted by a Reset Era user Erosdero3, is in a, basically a $90 CAD PlayStation 5 version 2. So this is like the next iteration. Imagine now we have the PlayStation 5 Slim, and now the PlayStation 5 Slim is now also getting a PlayStation 5 Slim uh, S controller. I probably could have worn it a little bit better, but basically they're both getting upgrades on the controller and console itself. And this is going to be really cool because, although I think it is a slightly higher price point, it's just a way better controller overall. While well, the controller appears to have the same dimensions as an existing model, has been what's described as an exceptional 12-hour battery life on a full charge, which supports long gaming sessions. Sessions. Dude, I'm not been good at talking today, my bad. If true, this would make for a significant upgrade on the existing DualSense, which offers, as of right now, a roughly six-hour battery life, depending on the gameplay. Obviously, if there's more, like, adapted feedback, say you're playing Call of Duty or other various games that are very, like, shaking, motorized, you're using the microphone, you're using the actual uh, speakers inside the controller itself, all those will go drain the battery a little bit quicker. But when it comes to this, if you have a slightly nicer and more updated, more optimized battery, etc., yeah, life's going to be going pretty good. So that's going to be a big, big, big update too as well. Uh, also as well, they also did mention too that the DualSense charging station said to be included, offering easy click-in chargings too as well. So all around kind of cool. So we're kind of seeing big updates and like a, almost a new package for the controllers themselves. Best Buy's full description reads, there also is a new controller too as well, Leet, saying take the gaming action to your hands when you play with the PlayStation 5 version 2. So this is a confirmed version 2 DualSense wireless controller with dynamic triggers, a built-in microphone, and so much more. This gaming controller offers a truly immersive experience. The iconic, comfortable design lets you play for hours and hours on end. Best Buy's website published a number of images of the new DualSense 2, which are below. So this is on the actual page itself. So they do have brand new pictures. It looks like it's a slightly updated controller. I don't think there's anything like super crazy in terms of design-wise. Uh, but also don't forget when you do have new iterations of controllers, no one's, I think, had a chance to have hands-on on these yet. 
But don't forget, sometimes they will, like sometimes maybe make the springs a little bit nicer for the actual buttons themselves. Sometimes uh, helping things for like stick drift is also a nice thing too on top of that. It just really depends on what you do, what you're looking for. But typically, if you have another three years to work on something, look how they did with the PlayStation 5 Slim, they'll end up having a slightly nicer version of it too. So this is like, I think the bigger, like the big focal point on it, this is the battery. Like I think the battery life is the most important thing to be on the lookout for. So it's kind of cool either way. So basically comparable, uh, compatible with the PlayStation 5. These are all just on the website itself. Wireless connectivity. Uh, they have the iconic design, haptic feedback, dynamic adaptive triggers, built-in microphones, headset jacks, all the et cetera. And the one big thing they did note is these two features. The dual sense charging station included offers easy click in charging. So there might be a new easy like iteration or change up with this. And then they also do have the exceptional 12 hour battery life on a full charge supports long gaming sessions. So either way, big upgrades for it. Like I, I would say doubling the battery life for a controller is probably one of the biggest upgrades you could have besides maybe adding like, you know, maybe modded panels or act, like an extra like thing. I don't know. Like how they basically added like adaptive feedback. That's a big upgrade, making the battery life for the adaptive feedback, which has been a really big issue too as well. Some folks are worried that they only have like three to five hours for a controller charge, especially with how much like the rumbling and everything else with it. So I think that's huge either way. It's just like really big. And hopefully, and one of my big concerns, and hopefully they'll include it, is on the brand new PlayStation 5 Slim consoles. You know how they have like the actual console itself, like you physically buy the console. I hope they're also including these brand new controllers into it, or it maybe it becomes a standardization for all the upcoming brand new PS5 Slims that are being sold. So the PS5 V2 DualSense product specifications too as well. Uh, I would also want to go through this in maybe a more in-depth video, but they, I'm kind of curious if they change the width, height, or depth too, and also how much it actually weighs as well. So I'd be kind of curious on how they change with the battery, if it is a bigger battery, if the controller weighs more, but either way, it's nice to go and see. So here's the actual official, official listing page. It is live on Best Buy, and they also did add a brand new controller. Now, you guys may have seen on the channel, but there's also been brand new PlayStation 5 Slim covers, like those cool, like, red, black, gray, blue, etc. covers, and they've announced those over at CES. So we haven't had a chance for this to see these proper announcement, but this gives off a lot of really cool retro vibes when it comes to the controller itself. Or basically for this, it looks like a PlayStation 1, and I would like to see this combined with the new Sterling Silver, other things they have. But as of right this second, we haven't seen anything else kind of cool with it. But I think it looks cool. Like, I mean, these don't seem like the same uh, new iterations. Like, this looks a little bit more on that weird pink hue. And this looks like pure, pure pink as well. And we did see that the brand new console covers are also, like, slightly more, I guess, professional, mature looking. I'm not really sure the best way to go and explain it. But it does look cool either way. So, at the end of the day, this is kind of cool. We've also had some people up here spotted on Reddit stating that there is going to have the release date. So, number one, the new color, as I mentioned, too. The release date is expected as of right this second for Canadians on January 26th. And this is where some of the comments on people assuming there might have been a state of play coming because people are expecting the Xbox One, as I mentioned, and then usually like to have the competition between the two. And as well, they also do have like just new products. Like we want to see the new products come out in the near future. So either way, I guess some people are also, also saying it is smaller and lighter when it comes to that one too. And if it does sit in the charging deck as well, which is included or also more fine tuned when it, when it comes as well. But I'm also one of the people, too, I even see the comment over there from Infinite on the bottom. I would think I'd rather just charge it. Like, my console's always right next to me. I'll just go plug it on in. Although some people may be gaming in their living room or bedroom where it's a little bit harder to get out of comfy bed if you're, like, playing games late at night or whatever. For me, I'm usually on, like, a gaming hub setup over here, so my console's will be right next to me. So I'm just in my chair. It's not a big deal. But either way, I think it's a nice upgrade regardless. And we also have been seeing really quickly, so we made individual videos on this when they came out, that we're also seeing patents over here for Sony having various things such as having their controllers go and also charge things like their earbuds and other various things like even maybe potentially your phone when it comes to these brand new patents as well. We also saw some patents where they almost want to have hand warmers or hand coolers built into the controller itself. Where for them, like, let's say you're holding the controller, you're in a hot area, then the controller handhelds can also be hot. Or let's say you're in a cool area and a God of War Ragnarok. Those areas can maybe make your controller have, like, a fan blowing on you or having have, like, cold air on you, too, as well. We also did have even more patents, too, for them trying to go in self-insert specific things on the front end for gaming hits. So they have, like, a little, like, LED monitor and screen all that in front of stuff. And when that goes and happens, you'd have it be like, hey, go move forward, press B. Like, here's a little tutorial video on how to dodge roll, how to parry, how to use maps, or whatever it might go and be built into the controller itself. 
So let alone we're seeing better battery, which is cool. But we also want to see these really big upgrades to long term for either things like having cool built-in monitors, a better microphone system, better haptic feedbacks, or as well even having cool things like charging outside sources or having hot and cold filters applied on it. So I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. We have the Twitter and Twitch stream down below if you guys want to follow. And of course, once again, we'll have an announce announcement and talk on the PlayStation 5 and or $500 giveaway very, very soon. So I took an extra few days. I was taken also with this one with our response over here. We'll have it done very, very soon.